In this screencast, I give a brief introduction to Causeway, an open source distributed debugger. We expect Causeway to become increasingly relevant to web development for a couple of reasons. For one, it is a distributed debugger. Upcoming web standards will loosen same origin restrictions, giving us the potential to write highly distributed applications. To realize this potential, better debugging tools are needed. Secondly, Causeway supports debugging applications built on the communicating event loops concurrency model. Although most developers are not familiar with communicating event loops, it is in fact the browser model and is rapidly becoming the mainstream model for distributed computation. Here we see a screenshot of Causeway's principal views. The top views describe the distributed behavior of your program. In this demo, I'll show you how to use the process order view and the message order view. The bottom views are familiar from sequential debugging. When focus shifts to a particular event, the Stack Explorer and Source View let you zoom in on that event. Our example is a simple purchase order program. Before an order is placed, certain conditions must be met. The item is in stock and available, the customer's account is in good standing, and the delivery options are up to date. Our solution is a distributed multi-process application with asynchronous message passing. An object residing in the buyer process queries three remote objects. Each query includes a callback function named teller that gathers the responses into an asynchronous AND. If all answers are good, the buyer places the order. Causeway is a post-mortem debugger. We run our example on a platform instrumented to generate Causeway's language-neutral trace log format. After the program is completed, Causeway collects the available logs and builds its views. We start with the process order view. There's a tab for each process that logged events, and the events are in chronological order. Let's look at the events logged by buyer. In the communicating event loops model, each process proceeds as a sequence of turns. Here we see a list of turns for buyer. Each item is a two-level tree. The parent represents the receive event that starts a new turn. Nested items are the events that occurred during that turn. We see our three queries were sent from turn two. For example, this is the credit check, with teller passed as a callback function to credit bureau, which is a remote object. In later turns, buyer received three responses to the queries, checked that requirements were satisfied, and placed the order. Causeway synchronizes selection across views. When I click an item in the process order view, the corresponding event is automatically selected in the message order view. The message order view shows message flow across process boundaries. Starting with check credit, we can ask, what happened as a consequence of this message being sent? To answer that question, expand the event. The subtree describes message order, which is the order in which events caused other events by sending messages. Notice the different colors. Causeway assigns each process a color so we can easily see when message flow crosses process boundaries. Starting with check credit, the outline structure tells us that sending the check credit message caused an object residing in the accounts process to invoke this method. Here's the callback. We're back in buyer where the answers are checked and the order is placed. Sending the place order message caused an object residing in the product process to invoke this method. Here's our callback. We're back in buyer where a comment event is logged indicating that the order was placed. So the message order view helps you track the distributed causality of your application. And again, with synchronized selection, I can click different events and easily see that event in process order. And likewise, I can click an event in the process order view and easily see the event in message order. For more information on Causeway, here are links to an HP Tech Report and Causeway's Wiki page.